Hello everybody, uh, this video shows how to set up a um, Microtech Access Router Board um, following the network diagram in the picture. Ok, so I've just reset my Microtech Home Access Point and I'm going to be setting it up from scratch. At this point it doesn't have an IP address so I'm going to connect it on its MAC address with Winbox. So I've opened Winbox, as you can see it's already detected it here at the bottom it's showing an IP address of 0.0.0, .0, .0. that means it doesn't have an IP address and there it's showing what it is, it's a router board 941 um, here's the MAC address, um, it's already in the connect to box at the top and when you connect to it with the um, username admin and no password, so I'm going to press connect now ok, the first thing we need to do is um, get rid of this uh, default script so I'm just going to say remove configuration here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up the LAN and the WAN IP address so to do that you're going to um, IP addresses and it opens this uh, blank box now as you can see behind here um, this Microtech router has um, Ethernet 1, Ethernet 2, Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4 so you can see there's a little bit of traffic showing on Ethernet 4 that is plugged into um, this Ethernet 4 is plugged into my computer um, it's also got a bridge on here which we'll get rid of just now and uh, change it to something else and then this Ethernet 1 is what it, uh, connects to my internet service provider let me just get back the IP address and uh, we're going to add the LAN IP address first so that is on Ethernet 4 and um, the address I'm going to give it is 192.168.0.254 um, slash 24 which is the same as 255.255.255.0 if you click apply here it automatically fills in the network address for you so I'm just going to press OK. So there we have the LAN IP address and press the plus sign again. And now I'm going to add the WAN address which goes on um, Ethernet 1. Um, in this case I have a small network uh, subnet for connecting to my internet service provider. So the IP here is 172.31.2.2. 138 slash 29 and the network address here is 172.31.2.136 I'm just checking if this is right um, let's just press OK here yeah. the address on the other side of this link is uh, 172.31.2.137 so I'm going to see if I can ping that so I'm going to go to tools um, ping and uh, let's see if I can ping it 172.31.2.137 and it's pinging alright so IP addresses are good. Now that I've added the IP on the LAN interface I'm going to go out of Winbox and log back in to the router using the IP address so we've got the IP address in the top there and um, we've got the username admin I'm going to press connect and as you can see it's not working and uh, the reason for this is my IP address on my computer is set to automatic and currently we haven't set the DHCP up on the router so my computer doesn't have an IP address to use to speak to the router so I first need to give my computer a static address to continue with the setup so I'm just right clicking on the start button and I'm going to network connections and then I right click on my uh, ethernet connection which this is the connection that connects to Ethernet 4 on the Microtech router so right click properties and 
here by uh, TCP IP version 4. Uh, it's going to use, use the following address. I'm going to put in here 192.168.0.1 um, which is in the same range as um, the router's LAN IP 0 0.254. Um, subnet mask 255, 255, 255. That's the same as the slash 24 which we got on the router. Default gateway. I'm going to make the router the default gateway. Um, later I'm going to set this up so that um, the router is running DHCP and it's going to actually hand out these uh, settings for the client. Um, but for now I'm just putting them in manually. So the gateway is 192.168.0.254, that's the IP of the um, Microtech router. And then the DNS server I'm going to make 192.168.0.254. Later I'm going to be setting up the um, Microtech router to do DNS as well. So just press OK there. OK here. Um, just wait for Windows 10 to finish doing what it's doing. OK, now that the computer has an IP of 192.168.0.1, I'm going to use that to connect to the Microtech. And it looks like it's working. So now I need to add the default route so that I can get on the internet. So I go here, IP routes and so far we've just got two routes um, these are both added automatically by the router because we have an interface on each of these networks this is uh, basically the LAN network and this one here is the WAN network so I press plus here um, this route of 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 is a route to all IPs in other words um, if my computer is trying to access an address that's not in any of these two groups um, it should take this route so the uh, address I'm going to put in here is the IP address of the other side of my WAN link which is 172.31.2. Um, let me see 137 and um, it looks like that's working. Now because my um, network provider doesn't uh, route 192.168.0.0 IPs um, I need to set up NAT so to do that you go into IP um, firewall and uh, basically what NAT does is any traffic that comes from the LAN side with a 192 IP um, should be substituted for a 172.31.2.137 IP before it goes out on the internet um, so to do that and I go into here on the NAT menu and I press the plus and uh, we're doing uh, source NAT and we're going to specify it on source address and uh, what this means is um, any IP that's coming from the network 192.168.0.0 um, this is basically the access list that identifies the traffic coming in so any traffic that's on that network and then I select an action what I must do so the action I want to do is I want to source NAT the traffic and I want to use the address of um, the WAN to do that which is 172.31.2.138 and I press OK yeah. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to set up the DNS so you go into IP um, DNS and uh, I'm going to put in my DNS servers that are uh, sorry, that were given to me by my internet service provider. So I'm going to put in the first one is 172.16.0.1. The other one is 172.16.0.2. And I'm going to tick this box, allow remote requests, which will allow my machine to use the Microtech as the DNS. So I'm going to press here OK. And uh, now I'm going to open my browser on my computer and actually see if this works. I'm just going to minimize this. And... Uh, Let's go into Firefox. Um, okay, I don't want to do this now. Let's just get out of that. Um, let's see if this is going to work. Okay, for some
some reason it seems like it's not working so we're going to just check quickly what's going on here um, I'm not seeing any traffic on this masquerade um, on this masquerade source natural so I'm just going to check quickly what's going on here um, that IP looks right and uh, that looks right um, oh but I forgot to put the slash 24 here let's see if that fixes my problem and as you can see it's starting to show traffic if you go back to the browser um, let's see if Google News will open okay we've got internet so that's good okay with that working I need to now get the DHCP working and um, first I'm going to get the wireless LAN also on the bridge so I go here to bridge on the side um, the first thing I like to do is just get rid of everything here uh, ports the works so I just uh, go into everything here and make sure there's nothing so I start with my bridge press the plus sign and I'm just going to call this um, my LAN bridge uh, press OK and then on ports I'm going to choose what ports I want to add to this bridge so basically everything except Ethernet 1 which is the WAN so we'll start with uh, Ethernet 2 and then uh, Ethernet 3 and um, Ethernet 4 and WLAN 1 which is the, the wireless or the Wi-Fi with all the ports bridged together I can now run uh, DHCP on the LAN bridge so to do that we go into IP um, DHCP server and I select here uh, DHCP setup and we're running this on the LAN bridge um, just press next here and uh, this address space is correct um, gateway is correct I just want to give out addresses from 1 up to 50 so that I can use the addresses between um, 50 and uh, 254 as static addresses on my network so I'm just going to click on next um, these DNS servers are correct press next again and then ok so now we're going to see if I can set my PC to obtain IP automatically so I uh, go to network connections go in the Ethernet connection right click properties internet protocol return address automatically here select OK OK and Winbox has chucked me out um, I'm just going to have to go back in there um, let's see if we can get back in on 254 and there we have the list so DHCP is definitely working the DHCP setup I'm left with the uh, Wi-Fi and um, to do that you go here to wireless on the left and uh, as you can see it says here managed by Capsman and um, so I'm only going to be setting up one access point I don't need that so I just select this cap button here and I take this enabled off and I press OK and uh, now I can just right click this interface and say enable and there it's on and uh, I should be able to double click it from here and configure it so um, I'll start with the wireless menu here I'm going to use the mode um, access point bridge and uh, this uh, 2412 uh, I think is channel 1 and uh, you know, channel 20 megahertz that's good can, uh, I'm going to call this uh, Wi-Fi access point just Wi-Fi um, 
protocol we need to use 802.11 so that it is compatible with all phones and uh, I don't have a security profile yet I will set one up just now and then come back here and change that um, I'm just going through the top, top here and checking what else there is it doesn't seem to be anything else I press OK OK so here by security profiles I select that and I press the plus button this is where you set the password for the person who connects so I'm just going to leave it called here as profile 1 and I'm going to type in a key and I'm only going to use WPA2 so I'm typing in my key and then I press OK so it's taken the key which is now under profile 1 and I go back here to um, interfaces and I just double click this WLAN 1 again and uh, under wireless here yeah, by security I select profile 1 press OK and uh, now I'm going to try and connect with my phone OK so I've just connected with my phone so if I go here to registrations um, there I can see I've got something connected and uh, here under the DHCP server leases um, something else has come up and as you can see there it says Android so that's my phone that's connected um, that pretty much is it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching